Hello and welcome back to another one of my how-to videos. This video is going to teach you how to run multiple accounts at one time. If you already run multiple accounts at one time, hopefully I might have some tips and tricks in here for you. So this is how this video is going to break down. First, I'm going to go over how to set up. Second, I'm going to go over pros and cons of running multiple accounts. Third, I'm going to go over tips and tricks for making multi-accounting easier. And fourth, I'm going to go over tips for possibly solving some laggy PC issues. If you're new here or haven't seen my channel before, remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future how-to videos. I also make comic guides and also do some entertaining videos as well. Before I go into how to set up, I just want to remind you that Dofus is free to play in all of Incarnum, all of Astrib, and I believe all the way up to level 60. So if you've always been curious about multi-accounting, but you're not sure if your PC can handle it, just create a few accounts and test it and see how your computer holds up. The ability of your computer to run multiple accounts will show up whether you're subscribed or not. Okay, so let's get to the how to set up. All right, the first thing you'll have to do is you gotta make sure that you select a server that will allow multi-accounting. If you'll notice here, this is a server designed for only running one account at a time. The regular Echo server is one that will allow you to run as many accounts as you want. The Heroic and Epic servers will also allow you to multi-account, but just know that these have a feature called permanent death. The whole idea behind these are, if you die, you die. That's the thrill and the risk of it. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is you have to bring up your Ancama launcher. Once you have your launcher opened up, you have to open up a instance or a gameplay session for each account that you wanna use. So if you hover over top of the play here and you click this, that's going to launch one instance of the game. If you needed to open another account, you would bring up that launcher again, hit play, and it would bring up another screen where you can log in. Now, the way the new launcher is set up, if you only have one account, it'll just automatically log in to that one account. Your second, third, fourth, and however many more that you open up, you'll have to type in your username and your password for that account. Before you log into multiple accounts, open up just your first account first, and I'm gonna show you why. When you log into your first account, Whatever is going on on this setup is going to carry over into your other accounts. So like where you position your map, where you've got your spell bars, the size of your chat menu. If you shrink it down to this size here, when you log into your next accounts, it'll automatically be sized down to this as well. So it's a good idea to come in here and set this all up however you want to the very first time. And then every time you log in after that, it will carry over to your other accounts. It'll save you from having to do it multiple times. And that also goes for your settings. Now I'm gonna go over a few settings here that are just basic. They won't necessarily affect the quality of your picture, but they may help you a little bit for running multiple accounts. Later I'll go over some tips that might help you if you've got a PC that's struggling or lagging a bit. I got a few tips I can show you on that as well. So the first thing I would recommend doing is turn off display all the monsters in a group. Right now, when you go onto a map, see this peewee? There's only one peewee showing, but there's three peewees in that mob. If you don't have that turned off, you're gonna see three little peewees running around here. This one up here, you would have six peewees running around a group. And it looks pretty cool when they're all there, but there's no real need to have them all there. It'll always display, if there's a rare creature in the mob, it'll always have that as the creature that's displayed. So if this had an arc monster, the arc monster is the one that would be displayed here, not just a regular peewee. So you don't have to be worried about not spotting something that you're looking for. Another plus is if you go into an aggro area, it makes it a little easier to navigate around the monsters because you, can, you don't feel like you're running by a huge cluster of monsters, but just a single monster zipping by. Also, if you scroll down just a little bit here, and this is underneath the performance tab, turn on multi-account optimization. This is basically gonna, gonna make it to where whatever screen you're looking at is the one that's gonna have the best frame rate. If you wanna use full screen mode, see if I turn this off, see how you can start to see the windows bars here at the top and the one here at the bottom. If you turn on full screen, it gets rid of that. 
But the downside of that is when you have full screen off, you can see what your character is up here. When you're running multiple accounts, it can be challenging to know which screen you're looking at just by this right here. But if you wanna have full screen mode on, I'll tell you in the tip section on how to maybe figure out which screen you're on. If you've got two, maybe three, it's not hard to figure out which one you're on, but you start running four, five, or six accounts, it can be challenging to figure out which screen you're on when they're all on the same map based strictly upon what you're seeing here. So I got some tips for you on that I'll show you later. Okay, now that you have your settings and your menu bars the way that you want it, now you could log into additional accounts. So I'll click that, see how it's launching a second instance. And then it pops up here with a username, you put in your password. And now we have two accounts going. So here's this one and this one. So we got two accounts going. There's a couple ways that you can set up your windows so that you can see what's going on and move your characters around. One, if you are not using full screen mode, you can drag them to the side like this and you can line them up side by side like this. So now you can click on both of these and tell them exactly what you're doing. With two accounts, this isn't too bad. Your screens are a little small, smaller than a full screen, but it's manageable. Also, if you're running four accounts instead of two, Windows will let you drag up to the top corner. It'll break it down into quarters for you like this. If I had two more screens, I could snap it down here into this corner, snap it into that corner, and then I would have four screens available on the same screen. It's one of the nice features of Windows, it'll automatically do that. So if you grab the top, put it to the side, that's how you can do half and half. Or if you grab it, slide it up into the corner, this is how you can do quarters. So if you want to play with full screens, there's a common key combination that you can use to flip between them. If you notice, I keep my mouse right here on the center of the screen and I can still switch back and forth between these. And the combination that you're going to want to use on your keyboard is you hold alt and hit escape and it switches. Now the more windows that you have open down here on the bottom, so if you have your Internet Explorer open, you have a file open, you have Excel open and Word open, it's going to tab through each one of those. See, what you're doing is jumping from tab to tab down here for anything that's open. So what I would do is I would close anything you don't need, only have open what you do. That way, when you tab between these, you jump from each one very quickly. So you hold Alt, hit Escape. Okay, I'm gonna log my whole team of four here real quick so I can show you a little more. Okay, I got my whole team logged in here now, and I got us into a party over here on the side. So another thing you wanna set up before you start doing your alt tabbing is it's a good idea to set your windows in the order that your characters are gonna go. That way each time you hit alt tab, you go to the next person in the line, not alt tab, alt tab, alt tab, trying to get to the next character that's to go. So for example, in our lineup over here, uh, Smokin' is number one. So here's Smokin'. That's the first character. The next character is Sir Tanks a lot. So if I hit Alt Tab, the character I went to is Old Greybeard. I want Sir Tanks a lot to be next. So what I'll do is I'll bring up my list down here and I'll click Sir Tanks a lot and it just jumped to his window. Okay, and now he's the second one selected. Now the next person we need is Old Greybeard, so Alt Tab. Now I got Old Greybeard as number three. Alt tab again. Now we got got you covered as number four. So now as I run, it just jumps straight from one account to the next and it looks very good. And this is real useful when you're doing fights because you don't want to be jumping around trying to figure out which character is supposed to be doing the next attack. They're already in order. There are pros and there are cons to running multiple accounts. I'll go over the cons first. First, it's expensive, both in real money and in commas. If you're like me and you pay the subscription fee just with cash, every account that you subscribe is gonna be another six bucks. Well, $6 by itself isn't too bad, but you multiply that times two, three, four, so on and so forth, that adds up very quickly, especially if you do subscribe on a monthly basis. So that's one thing you gotta consider is it's gonna be expensive. If you wanna subscribe using Ogrins and commas, 
to do that, you can do that. But it's going to cost a lot of commas to subscribe multiple accounts. Also, it can be hard to gear up your team, especially in earlier levels if they're leveling quickly. Gear is expensive and you get mounts and trophies and all these things. You may also have to leave out part of your team if you run with a lot of friends to do a dungeon run. If you're running with three other friends that each have two accounts, you may drop down to just two accounts and you got a full eight-man team. But if you're usually paying for four accounts, that means two of your accounts are being left out. Not a huge deal, but something to consider. If you run with people a lot, you might have to leave some of your characters out from time to time. Also, it's important to know that you can only use one character per fight in anything PvP related. So that's perk fights, the Colosseum, any of those types of things. You can only use one character. You can't jump in there with a whole team. So don't think you're going to create a multi-account and then go out perk hunting. It won't let you do that. But there are some big pros to it also, and this is the kind of thing that I enjoy about the game. My favorite part about the whole thing is you get to try loads of characters and combinations all at one time. You can have one of every class of your very own. You can do that with a single account too, up to five characters. If you want to have more than five classes on one account, you have to pay for extra slots on your account. If you have multiple accounts, each account is allowed five characters. So you can come up with some really fun combinations. You can have a primary team and a backup team. You can have a dungeon running team and then a questing team. You, you can do whatever you want there. Also, you don't have to wait on people to go run a dungeon. If you've got a four-man team, you can go run any dungeon you want to without waiting on anybody. Yes, you can run dungeons as two and three. You can even run dungeons solo, but the dungeons will scale down in enemies to a minimum of four characters. So if you've got a four-man team and you go run a dungeon, you're running any of the dungeons in the game at a, a level that they're appropriate for. You have two characters and you're level 80 and you go run a level 80 dungeon, that dungeon's based on four people running it at level 80, not two people. Also a nice thing is you don't you can stop whenever and wherever you want to without affecting anyone else's time. We've all been there where we're going through a dungeon and someone says, hey, I'll be right back. I got to go do such and such. Hey, I got to stop. I'll be back after a bit. I got to go do such and such. Now you either have to wait there or you can leave the dungeon and go try to find something else to do and then come back and teleport to that room where you left off once they're back or you go on without them, which can be kind of a, which can be kind of a jerk move. But if you've got your own team of four, you can run whatever you want, and you can stop in the middle of a dungeon if you want to, and it doesn't matter. You can log out in the middle of a dungeon, come back the next day, the next week, whatever, pick right back up where you left off, and you didn't interfere with anybody's time or effort but yourself. And the last and obvious thing most people think about with multi-accounting is your prospecting is going to be higher as your group, and you get to keep all the drops, which that's a lot of fun. Okay, now I'm going to go over some tips for making multi-accounting easier. And I've got a bunch of things here for you, so hopefully there'll be something in here helpful for you. As I mentioned earlier, log into your main account first. Set up your menus, get your settings, your chats set up the way you want it. Then when you log in the rest of your team, everything will be set up the way that you want. Instead of just clicking this play button to log in, if you hold the control key and then hit the number on the keyboard associated with the number of instances you want to start, so if you need three accounts, hold control and then hit the number three on top of the play button. It'll automatically open three screens for you. Hold control and hit five. It'll open up five screens for you. It could be a lot faster than having to click this, wait for it to be done, and then click this, wait for it to be done, and then click this. You can just hold control, hit the number, and it'll open up the number of instances that you need. If you start a brand new team of characters, it's possible to not end up in the same instance in Incarnum, even if you are on the same server. There's two ways to resolve this. You can either run everybody through the tutorial, go down to Astrip through this portal, and everybody should pop up in the same place. You can group up and then come back up here and you'll be on the same Incarnum map. The other option is once you've finished the tutorial and stepped out here, you should be able to open your friend list. Add everybody to your friend list. You can click add, type in their name, they'll pop up here. Once everybody's in your friend list, log them out 
and then log back in. You should all appear on the same instance at that point. Remember when you have your windows in the order that you need them to go. If you make equipment changes, that can affect your initiative and change up the order of your windows. So be mindful of that when you make changes to your equipment that you might need to rearrange your windows after that. The same thing can happen with Vitality. Vitality has an effect on your initiative and can change up your order as well. So if you start a fight without full health, just be aware your windows might end up changing for that fight. It's a good idea to try to line your potions and your breads up on the same location for each character. That way as you alt tab you know exactly where you need to go to get to the items that you use the most. If you're running multiple accounts and you have your screen set to full screen, an easy way to figure out which character you're on, put something down here on the menu bar that will tell you exactly which character you're on. For example, this is my strength based character, my Zeller, so I put the strength trophy here. I also have a, my agility one for my agility character, chance for my chance, and a healing for my healer. It's a real easy way to figure out which one you're on at a quick glance. Even though you have multiple accounts, it's usually a good idea to try to have all your professions on a main character whichever one you consider to be your main account. And I would recommend put your strength character on that main account. That way, after you get done running a whole bunch of stuff with your team, compile all your resources onto that single character, and then that one character has a bank or a chest that they can put it in. If you're heading to a dungeon with multiple accounts, send one person to that location, and then use them to teleport the rest of the group to that point. If your PC is struggling, consider changing some or all of these following options to help reduce the strain needed to power the game. You can also bring up your task manager and take a look to see how your computer is doing on CPU and memory. Remember, each time you open up another instance of Dofus, it's gonna be pulling a chunk of memory needed. If this number is getting up really high, you just may not be able to run that many accounts. So try reducing some of those options I displayed a moment ago. See if that reduces your number. It might make it a little easier. Well, that's all I've got for this how-to video. I've been running multiple accounts for well over 12 years, even at one point running a whole eight-man team all by myself. That was a lot of fun, extremely expensive, so I had to give it up. But I say that to say that if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I will do my best to reply and get you an answer to that. Also, if there's anybody watching this video that has, has some tips and tricks they've come across that maybe I didn't mention in, in this video, please feel free to leave those below as well. I'm always looking for ways to optimize my playtime, and I'm sure other people can benefit from that as well. Well, if you could do me one quick favor, hit that like button. Helps you to promote my videos and promote my channel. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know exactly when my future content comes out. Thank you so much for coming by, and I will see you on the next one.